My name is Moira McEdigat. I'm from Kerry originally and I'm married to Willie Murphy and we live in Ballycorestod in County Carlow. We uh, stand stallions and we have at the moment Snow Sky, Flag of Honour and al and um, we also train point to point horses. Um, so in the mornings I usually ride out before work. Ever since I could walk I wanted a pony um, and I started off um, probably in Kennedy's Equine Centre in Tralee in Kerry um, just doing pony lessons and a um, bit of riding and learning how to ride and all my family did so um, and then got my first pony um, with, shared a pony with my brothers when I was probably about six years old um, and just transitioned on there to get more ponies and do a bit of show jumping, a bit of cross country, a bit of hunting. Even when I was eight, nine years old, I always wanted to be a vet. I wanted to be a vet. Um, all my teenage years, I was very determined that I was going to be a vet. My brother Kieran was into martial arts, so um, he did a bit of taekwondo and a bit of boxing. And um, he he was kind of a brother I latched onto. If he was going um, training, I wanted to go training with him as well. So um, he was um, he had a very uncool little sister that was following him around all the time. And there was I suppose five years in the difference in age between us. So he was kind of mature enough to know and to treat me nicely and uh, let me come with him. Um, so I started taekwondo when I was like four or five years of age. Um, and he was doing it, so I thought it was cool to do as well. And uh, so yeah, went to I got my black belt in that. Competed for Ireland all through college in kickboxing and taekwondo. So, yeah, I managed to um, get a world champion gold medal um, during my college years um, at the kickboxing world championships, and um, we got team gold at the taekwondo world championships as well. So a typical day, um, start at half five, quarter six and get on the road. I'm a temporary veterinary inspector in Kildare Chillen. Um, so we do three hour shifts um, up there. So I worked in Kildare till from half six to half nine and then get back to the yard in Ballycora um, right out till one and get in the car and come to Ballyraga Vet Clinic in Kilkenny, uh, try and get here for two. And uh, I do small animal practice and um, some echoing work during the breeding season here and probably finish around seven if we're, uh, everything goes to plan and usually late and back home. Um, depending on the time of year, back home this evening, won't have much to do when I get home, but um, in the later on the spring and in the summer, I'll scan some mares when I get home as well. Ballyraga Vet Clinic um, comprises of uh, three clinics at the moment. Um, we have a base in Freshford in Kilkenny um, and Castlecomer and here in Ballyragat. Um, I mostly deal with the small animals um, and the horses in the spring and the summer. I do the repro work here as well. Um, there's seven of us all together, seven vets. Um, we all work together. The boys go out and do the large animal work and I usually stay here in the practice in the afternoons um, and do the small animals. Um, so we do x-raying, scanning, uh, surgeries, dentals um, and I see consults in the evening then once they're all done. I won an Irish title uh, at Novice, Intermediate, Senior and Elite. I lost the first year at Elite. I, I lost to Kelly Harrington, one of my good friends, um, on a split decision and uh, I was very disgusted afterwards, but now I realise that, you know, it wasn't, uh, it was probably good to get a split decision against Kelly. And um, we're great friends now, like, um, when I moved to Thai, um, I, I, got my, I got my Elite title then, so the following year. Um, and then I progressed onto the Irish team for that year. Um, so, it was pretty baptism of fire. There was Europeans and Worlds on that year. Um, so straight into training camp, I was locuming veterinary wise, probably doing a little bit too much work um, and trying to combine everything. Um, but I managed to get to through the training camps and go to the European Championships in Bulgaria and the World Championships in Kazakhstan. 
and missed out on a medal by a split decision on both occasions. Um, I boxed on a good few internationals and, um, and got into the top 20 in the world rankings in my first year. Anne O'Grady would have been who introduced me to horses, um, thoroughbreds, halfbreds. They would uh, produce a lot of top eventers, uh, world class eventers, and horses for Dublin Horse Show every year. So my summers were spent there throughout my teenage years. When I finished college and I started an equine practice in Limerick, um, I suppose I, I was going into clients that were more thoroughbred based than um, show jumping and eventing. And um, my brothers at the time had an interest in race horses as well. Um, so we all decided as a family actually to get our first race horse together. Uh, <laughs> to win money or lose money or have fun or just do something together as a family. So that's how it all started. So um, we got a horse called Rock Shandy. And um, yeah, I won a beginner's chase on him in, um, in Galway and uh, plenty of fun with him. Uh, ended up um, going to Cheltenham with him actually, rode the amateur's chase in Cheltenham on him. And yeah, I had good fun with him. And um, had a little mare as well uh, called Chris Don Lady. And um, she uh, won a couple of point to points. I won first point to point on her on my first ride, so I thought it was all very easy. Um, and uh, she went on, I won a Hunter's Chase in her in Listole. And uh, yeah, we had some great days with her as well. So yeah, that was the bug. Yeah, it was, it was a good start. Season's going well so far. I'd like to get a couple of more winners on the board and looking forward to the breeding season with our three stallions and especially our new stallion, Flag of Honour.